In the introduction of Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart, readers meet the main character Okonkwo, who gained fame and respect by winning a wrestling match against an undefeated champion. Since then, Okonkwo has become wealthy, marrying three wives and fathering mm. 10 children in Umofia, one of the nine villages of his clan. His successes contrast with the failures of his father, a gentle musician in debt to his entire community. Ashamed of his father, Okonkwo is driven to be the opposite of him, fierce and hyper-masculine. In the rising action, clan elders choose Okonkwo as guardian of Ike Mafuna, a boy who arrives in the village as payment from a neighboring clan whose members murdered a woman from Umofia. Ike Mafuna adjusts to life in Umofia and comes to view Okonkwo as his father. Nwoye, Okonkwo's son, grows fond of Ike Mafuna. But when the priestess Chielo orders Ike Mafuna to be killed, a village elder, Ezeudu, warns Okonkwo not to take part in the killing. He does so anyway, fearing that if he doesn't obey the oracle, he will lose respect. Nwoye in particular is devastated. Ezinma, daughter of Okonkwo's second wife, Ekwefi, becomes extremely ill with a fever, and Ekwefi is terrified the child will die. Later, Ezeudu dies, and during his funeral, men beat ceremonial drums and fire their guns. Okonkwo's gun explodes, accidentally killing Ezeudu's son. The punishment for killing a clansman is seven years of exile. Okonkwo and his family settle with his mother's clansman in Umbanta. When Okonkwo's friend, Oberika, visits, he describes the destruction of the Abame clan at the hands of the white man. The oracle had said that white men would descend like devouring locusts and destroy them. When missionaries arrive in Umbanta and other villages and request land to build a church, villagers begin attending services, including Nwoye, who leaves his father to join the missionaries. Okonkwo decides it's natural for him to have a weak son. As he puts it, living fire begets cold, impotent ash. Okonkwo returns to Umwopia after seven years, but he finds that much has changed. The missionaries are now well established. He wants to fight them, but Oberika warns it is too late. The white man's presence extends further than the church, as British officials have set up a government with a judicial process led by a district commissioner. Enoch, a zealous Christian convert, commits the crime of unmasking an Egwugu clan leader. In the climax of the novel, the Egwugu and village leaders respond by destroying Enoch's compound and the church. In the falling action, the district commissioner jails six leaders, including Okonkwo. They're humiliated and tortured in jail. Once released, Okonkwo vows vengeance, and he kills a court messenger for trying to stop a clan meeting. In the resolution of Things Fall Apart, Okonkwo has hanged himself. The district commissioner reflects that Okonkwo's story might be worth including in his book called The Pacification of the Primitive Tribes of the Lower Niger.